Hello everyone. Today I want to tell you how to add and set up statistical arbitrage. So to add statistical arbitrage, you need to click add strategy and you'll get a menu of all your strategies. And we can choose statistical from here. You have the option to choose a single or multiple session. And uh, statistical arbitrage can be used on one broker as the arbitrage is done between two correlating instruments um, and becomes, it's not, it's a non-toxic strategy. So it doesn't make sense to do it on two brokers. Um, the program will ask me to create a symbol list from a template. And if you're setting up arbitrage for the very first time, will recommend uh, using it as is because it will tell you uh, which pairs correlate with each other. But if you want to set it up by yourself, then just click no. I'll click yes and get the default symbol list. So I will show you how to set up the program from the beginning um, after it is added, but I also wanted to note uh, before adding the strategy, you also need to add sessions or use your existing ones. And uh, to add sessions, uh, you can watch our other video that details how to add sessions. Um, and make sure you watch this carefully, but we'll move on to the statistic called arbitrage setup. Um, and I have two of them, but I'll start with this one. And when I open the strategy, I'll just move the window over just for ease. So when I open the strategy, um, I will first open the settings. And in the slow session, I'll choose the session which I will use. So the account which I will use in my arbitrage. And I am using the C Trader account uh, through Fix API. And if you have some suffixes in your symbols, uh, you need to map them here as well. In the instrument panel that we added using the template that you see, um, you'll see a list that we recommend, but you can add your own panel. Um, and if your symbol that you want to add differs in name between the broker and the program, you'll need to add it to the mapping here in settings. So we can write DAX here. And if your C trader is called D30, you'll put D30 here. And if your symbol is the same in the C trader and the template, such as my example of gold and silver, then you do not need to map. Um, and after you've done your mapping, you can load the history from the database if you have any. And for this, you'll need to set up the UTS offset, which is an offset in time on your VPS in relation to UTS. And we will give you the opportunity to load data from our server. So I recommend leaving this as is, so you can just do that. So we have the time here to time to stop trade, time to start trade. And those symbols that are traded based on a specific session, for example, if we are to trade D30, which is also DAX, then it is traded using the European session. So we need to set the time for the beginning of the session on the VPS time. And I recommend adding 15 to 20 minutes to it and to stop trading 20 to 30 minutes before the end of the session. So here you can put the time and then you set your trading session to when the program reacts to quote changes in D30 or other indices. You also have trade pause and minimum order lifetime and they are not important for statistical stats arbitrage as this strategy is not toxic and setting pauses or setting a minimum order lifetime is not required. If this is however interesting to you or you want to do this, 
You can also set a trading pause or set a minimum lifetime for the order. But as I mentioned before, this is not important and you don't need to worry about it for this strategy. We also have an important parameter, which is calculate second lot based on first. And what does this mean? So this means if you're trading gold, for example, in terms of silver, we will see that the prices of a lot is different for gold and silver. Um, and for this reason, we're able to set the size of the lot based on the price of the first lot. And this will help us compensate our profit and losses due to movements in the price of gold in terms of silver. So this is fairly basic, but I will describe it in detail. We can also leave this setting alone, but if you set this setting up, then you are able to change the lot sizes automatically in instruments and orders. So we have two important settings uh, as well, which is lock management and forced close. And what does this mean? So lock management, for example, if you don't want to lose the triple swap fee and you have to open new orders, you can set the orders to close on Wednesday, 30 minutes before the close of the New York trading session, obviously based on your time of your VPS once again. So this allows you to close it 30 minutes before uh, the end of the session. So when the New York session closes, uh, brokers will have a triple swap, so you can close it before. Um, if you don't want to close your order, you can just uncheck the setting. And force close is being able to close orders based on certain parameters. Um, and you can set the parameters here. So the first one is never close. It allows you to never close. The second parameter allows you to close orders at the end of the trading session at the time set on your VPS once again. And profitable, the program will only close profitable orders and the ones that suffered losses will be carried on to the next day. So that's if you select profitable. So, now we can go to orders and instruments. Uh, after you click apply changes, we'll go to orders and instruments. And you need to note here that you will have by default one lot and the system is set to calculate the lot based on the first. So for gold and silver. And this is because we checked the, that parameter in previous step. So based on the price of gold, the systems will recalculate the second lot. And you also need to know that for this setting, the minimum lot for C trader, for example, for silver is one. So we will need to enter one in here. So put one here. And here you'll need to put five here because the difference in lots will be the same as the proportion of 0 0.2 to 1, as it is 1 to 5. And this is the relationship between gold and silver lot sizes. So as you can see, I'm setting this here. And this is done again as the C trader fix API for the minimum lot is one. So we'll set it for silver and gold and it will automatically recalculate. We have two decimals in this pair. And also for stop loss, take profit and min profit, all of these need to be calculated based on the lot using the currency. And it's done in currency. So in our case, we chose 2.5 and 0 0.5. So you need to understand that five lots of gold are around five times 2,000, which is $10,000 of the currency. So 
the change of two point five dollars will allow us to start a trailing stop, and you do make stop. You set up the stop loss in a similar way. And for take profit, will be ten dollars on five lots of gold and one lot of silver. It'll do the same. Likewise, you need to understand that all of these settings need to be calculated based on lots and how lots are calculated on the platform. So for example, for LMAX, a different lot could be, LMAX could have a different lot size. So you need to be careful when calculating this. And if you're doubtful that you know the, the size of the lots and how to set the proper stop loss and take profit, then please contact us for help um, because we'd be happy to explain this to you um, and make sure that your strategy works as intended. So later, after I click run, the system will start loading quotes in order to create an indicator based on the selected pairs. So when I click run, if it works well, it'll load quotes and it did. And I can open charts and this is a chart for this first simple, which is gold. And here I see quotes and the chart for gold. And the same I can do for silver as the system loaded quotes from our software and is creating the chart for these symbols. I can also view the indicator. And these are used to enter and exit the market. And it's used for a correlation. And these indicators are important because statistical arbitrage is based on the assumption that certain symbols correlate, and when the correlation is broken, we'll be able to profit off of the difference. And this is a historical correlation. So we can see via the indicator that when the red line crosses the green line, this is the spread. Uh, this is the spread plus the average statistical difference, and this means that we will sell. And then after we will have a trailing stop and receive profits as instruments break or defy their correlation. And this indicator is important because you can view what the arbitrage situations were um, to imagine how the correlations work. Um, and you can do your own analysis on this. And another important thing is that when an order is open, it will not close right away. And this is because it is not latency arbitrage, but statistical arbitrage. And here we need to wait for an arbitrage situation. So meaning when the defiance or breaking of the correlation happens. And I can open the indicator again, and we can see that the we opened the order when the red line crossed the green. If we look at this moment here right now, on the 18th of September at 12 p.m., we opened the order and we saw that where the trailing closed happened and then we closed the order here a few hours later at 8 p.m. So it can even close during the next day. Um, so you need to understand that this may take a while and it is considered a non-toxic order. So it might be up for a while. And you also need to understand that if you're using indices, you need to set up the data for indices in the session. And this is because we cannot receive this data through fixed API. So we need to go to the session window. And to do this, we open the settings of the session. And this has the sessions that you are using in statistical arbitrage, and this has the tab indices. So click here, and in this tab, you can add your index and select the currency, which is based on what the index trades with. So for example, you'll sell set Euro if it's a European index or USD if it is an American one. And you'll also need to enter the commission for the law. And from here, the software will be able to calculate everything that is needed to start the order. 
So do not forget to do this um, if you're using indices. if you're using a fixed API broker. So it also relates to CTrader through fixed IP. And that's it. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel. You'll not miss any other videos and be able to support us.